Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Anna Banana, and this is my friend, Miss Sarah. Hi. It's always so awesome to be with all of you here on Ungetty Kids Online. Yes, this is a place where we can all have fun together. Every week, we discover how amazing it is to mm -hmm. know God and live His way. That's right. And this month, we're finding out what it means to dig deep. Dig deep and search for wisdom. Wisdom, do you know what that is? Yes. Yeah. And you know, what? Searching for wisdom brings up an important question. What? Where do you find wisdom? Where does mm. it come from? That's a good question. Well, that's what we'll get into in today's Bible story. Nice. You see, wisdom doesn't just come to you. You've got to search for it. Kind of like you'd search for a lost treasure in a mine. A mind? Do you, no, no, you, do you mean like a mind or a mine? A mine. Like a cave? A mine, yes. Oh, okay, like yes. a cave. For you a know, second, I thought yes. you meant my mind. <laughs> like that's, yeah. Let's play a game about that today. Okay, okay. This game, will we will compete head to head. Ooh, riding head to head. Mine cart. Oh. Okay, the game is called Mine Cart Madness. Like one of these here? Yes. What are oh, those cards? Fun! And that's the game where we ride on the cart lying down on our bellies. Yep. And we're going to zoom into the mine shaft as fast as we can. It's pretend, of course. Yep. We don't really have a mine shaft. Yep. We're going to grab as many treasures as we can and yeah. take them back to our bucket. Yes. And yeah. after we successfully stash an armful of treasures, then treasures. we go back for more. And we only have one minute okay. to get as many treasures as possible. When the oh. time runs out. Yeah. Whoever has the most treasures in their basket uh -huh. will be the mine cart madness champion. Ooh, who do you think's gonna win, guys? I hope it's me. Let's find. Let's play and find out, Miss. Okay. Okay. All right, Miss Anna Are you ready? Wait, I gotta set my timer. Set my stopwatch for thirty seconds. Ready. Set. Go. <laughs> Miss Sarah, that was amazing. Congratulations. Thank you won. You. you know, you did a really nice job, and getting treasure is really fun. It is, and it's a lot of work, though, I have to tell you. Yes. But one treasure I want more than any is wisdom. It's a treasure from God worth having, right? Did you know that we can trust God to give us wisdom? Yeah, yeah it's true. And we can trust Him no matter what. One of the things I hope we all learn early on in life is yeah. that we can trust Jesus, period. Right. He is always with you, no matter what. He is yep. always good and true. Yeah. And I'm still out of breath. Me I'm too. Out of competition. <sighs> but last week, we talked about why wisdom was so important. We saw how Jesus grew in wisdom as mm -hmm. he grew up. It's important for us to have wisdom, yep. too. But that brings up a big question. Mm. Where do we get wisdom? Where from? And not only that, how do we get it? Yeah, we'll find out today as we look at what happened with one of the wisest people <sighs> who ever lived in the Bible. His name 
was Solomon. Solomon was the son of King David. David loved God and he taught Solomon how to Mm -hmm. listen to God and obey God's commandments. True. And it brings us to our bottom line. Mm -hmm. And it is a clue to our story today. Trust God to give you wisdom. We'll see you guys here after the story. Hey, Angetti Kids. We are about to do our Angetti Kids chant. Are you ready? At Angetti Kids, we know that God created us extra special. And each week, we like to remember that we were created uniquely on purpose, with a purpose, to love God, serve others, and tell the world. If you know the motions, make sure you do them with me. We love God because he first loved us. So we say, love God, and we point up. We can serve others to show God's love. So we say, serve others with our hands out, like we're giving a gift. Jesus wants to have a relationship with everyone, everywhere. So we say, tell the world and make a circle. Are you ready? Let's practice. Love God, serve others, and tell the world. Let's try one more time. Love God, serve others, and tell the world. Great job, everybody! My name is Haley, and I love hunting for treasure and all things ancient. 
and I've discovered a very ancient flower. So I've got a flower pot, some dirt, and some seeds. Let's get digging. These seeds are for a flower called King Solomon's Seal. So they should remind us to have wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. King Solomon is thought to be one of the wisest men who ever lived. Some say this very plant was growing in King Solomon's royal palace. One, two, three, ta-da! While Solomon was king, he built a palace and a temple for God, and he ruled wisely for 40 years. One, two, and three, ta-da! <laughs> Next, we smooth it over. There you go, little guys. Go to sleep. Good night. There. Now we wait for it to grow. Watching you. <clears throat> oh, nothing's growing. What am I missing? Oh, <laughs> Haley, how could I forget? Every seed needs water to grow. <laughs> King Solomon would have remembered that. Yay! Sometimes I wish I could be wise like King Solomon. Do you ever wonder how he got to be so wise? Well, we'll find out in today's story. I suspect I'll be admiring my flowers when you get back. See ya. Oh, I think I saw something. Nope. Soon as you get back. Hurry back. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of 1 Kings, Chapter 3, verses 4 through 28. Imagine this. You're in a deep sleep dreaming when all of a sudden the creator of the universe shows up and says, Ask me for anything. Anything. You could ask for anything in the world and have it. What would you say? Perhaps you'd request an unlimited Amazon account where you could get whatever you want for free. Or perhaps you'd request a flying race car that could be dropped off at the moon or on the beach. Or you could ask to be the most popular kid in school forever. <laughs> this might sound like a fairy tale, but it's true. It actually happened to a young man named Solomon. When King David died, his son Solomon became king. What are your royal orders, most royal highness? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never been king before. Though Solomon was young and inexperienced, his father, King David, taught him to listen to God's words. So Solomon showed his love for God by obeying his laws. I want to thank the Lord for everything he has done for my family. Solomon traveled to the city of Gibeon, where he offered a thousand burnt sacrifices to honor God. There is no one like you, God. That night, Solomon sank into a deep sleep and the Lord appeared before him in a dream. Ask for anything you want me to give you. A thousand ideas must have exploded into Solomon's head. Gold, power, life forever. But instead, he said, Lord, you have made me a great king, but I'm only a little child. I, I, I don't know how to carry out my duties. I'm here among the people that you have chosen. They are a great nation, so Give me a heart that understands. Then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. It was a simple request, but one that would change Solomon's life forever. You have not asked to live for a long time. You have not asked to be wealthy. You have not even asked to have your enemies killed. Instead, you have asked for wisdom. I will give you a wise and understanding heart. As long as you live, no other king will be as great as you are. 
As the dream faded, Solomon woke with a start. Was that real? That was real! Amazed, Solomon returned to Jerusalem where he once more gave sacrifices to honor God and held a great feast for all his officials. What are we celebrating, your most royal highness? God has promised to give me wisdom to lead the kingdom. How is that working out for you? Well, it was in a dream. Ah, I see. Perhaps Solomon wondered at first whether he really had received wisdom from God, but this was soon put to the test. Your most royal highness, you must help the people solve their problems. I'll do my best, with God's help. First order of business, we have these two ladies here. State your business, please. My friend and I... Okay, so she's not my friend anymore. Speak for yourself. I'm trying to. We live in the same home, and we both had baby boys. But her baby died, and so she took my boy in the night, and now she says my baby is hers. See? That's not her baby. No way. This baby is my son. Is not. Is too. Ladies! Solomon turned to the first woman. You say... My son is the living baby, but your friend says the baby is her son. That's a lie. Is not. Is too. God gave Solomon a wise idea. Bring me a sword. An official quickly brought the king's shining sword. Your royal sword, your royal highness. Solomon studied the two women carefully. Excellent. Now, cut the baby in two parts. Give one half to the first woman and one half to the second. Solomon had no intention of harming the baby, but he knew this was the way to find the truth. No! No, 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 no! Give her the baby! Don't kill him! Oh, whatever. Neither of us will get the baby. Solomon could instantly see which woman truly cared about the baby. Give the boy to the first woman here. She is his mother. Thank you. Oh, thank you! No fair! That was totally a trick. The baby was given to his true mother. All the Israelites heard about Solomon's decision and trusted that he would judge them fairly too. God made Solomon so wise that his understanding couldn't even be measured, like the sands on the seashore. So, plants need water to grow. You know what else they need? <laughs> Time. You can't just plant a seed and expect it to grow immediately. In fact, this plant's seeds takes at least two years before they sprout. That's a lot of waiting. <laughs> waiting for wisdom can feel like that. When Solomon asked God for wisdom, chances are he didn't wake up the next morning as one of the wisest men on earth. No, it took time for his wisdom to grow. The good news is that we can ask God for wisdom. Jesus' brother James once wrote, if any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. Maybe wisdom will just pop into your head right when you need it. Or maybe your wisdom will grow gradually like a flower as you learn from the people you meet, the mistakes you make, and the things you experience. No matter what though, you can trust God to give you wisdom. That's the one thing to remember today. Trust God to give you wisdom. When you have a tough decision to make or some problem that you're dealing with, Talk to God about it. Ask Him for the wisdom to know what to do. Then look and listen. If you're having trouble understanding what God is trying to show you, ask someone you trust to help. Wisdom may not come as soon as you think or in the way you think it will, but keep digging. God wants to share His wisdom with you. So, looks like these little flowers aren't gonna grow while I watch. It's gonna take some more time. Check back with me in two years, and I will see you then. <laughs> Bye! Wow. When all of the Israelites heard about the ruling Solomon had given, they all knew that he would be a great king. Yes. They could tell that he had wisdom from God and that he yes. would do what was right as their leader. That's right. And remember, all of this happened because Solomon asked 
God for wisdom. Yeah. He trusted that God was the source of all wisdom. And God made Solomon so wise that his understanding couldn't even be measured. Yeah. Like the sand on the seashore. You know, just like Solomon, you can trust God to give you wisdom. Yeah. Solomon asked God for the wisdom mm -hmm. he needed to be king, and it wasn't long until he had a chance to put that wisdom into action with a very wise mm -hmm. ruling about the mom and her baby. Such a very wise man. Yes. And it's clear that Solomon didn't think he could just figure things out by himself. Oh, yeah. That's he knew that he needed God's help. And he needed to trust God to give him wisdom. Yeah. That way, he could know what was right, what was fair in every situation. And we can talk to God like Solomon did. That's right. We can ask God for wisdom. Mm -hmm. We can put our trust in God because he is always there to help us. Yeah. It's yeah. so cool to think that Solomon asked God for wisdom mm -hmm. at such a young age, mm -hmm. too. And wisdom is something we need at any age, yeah. right? And you can grow in wisdom, whether you're a kid or an adult. Yeah, that's So right. don't forget to ask God for the wisdom that you need from Him. And we know, guess what? For mm -hmm. sure, He's going to give it to you. That's right. And that's what James, Jesus' brother, wrote in our memory verse, James oh, yeah. 1, 5. Uh -huh. Let's say it together. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if any of you needs wisdom, wisdom you, you should, should ask God, God for it. He will give, give it to you. God, God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. James, James 1, 5. 5. Yeah. Don't forget, everyone, we can trust God no matter what. Mm -hmm. He can give us the wisdom we need to face any situation in life. And God has also given us other people who can mm -hmm. help True. us mm -hmm. make the wise choice like our parents, mm -hmm. our grandparents, mm -hmm. maybe our older brothers or sisters, yeah. and our small group leaders at church. That's right. And you and I need to grow in wisdom too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we do. So let's put this week's bottom line into practice and trust God to give us wisdom. Okay. So let's talk to God right now and ask him to help us to grow in wisdom. Okay. God, thank you so much for this lesson today from the Bible. We're so glad that Solomon asked you for wisdom and you gave it to him. And we're so glad that you say in the book of James that if we ask for wisdom, you'll also give it to us. So we're yeah. so glad. And we ask you now for that wisdom and help us to follow you and to put all that we've learned today into practice in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you guys next time.